Okay, today we're looking at a program that I just discovered maybe 15 minutes ago. So I only know a little bit about, but I'm loving it so far. I just think it's a fun little program. And it's called uh, TPP for Text uh, Presentation Program. Um, it should be in your repositories if you're running um, most uh, distros, uh, especially Debian-based distros. I'm using Linux Mint here, uh, so it should be in Ubuntu and Debian as well. Um, and the name of the program is TPP, so just apt-get or aptitude get install that and um, basically what it does is it allows you to do kind of like um, slideshow presentations like presenter or uh, PowerPoint but in the terminal and um, once it's installed you can run TPP and it gives you you know basic uh, options here on the screen uh, it, but of course you can always get more information using man like with majority of your programs that you've installed for the terminal type man and the name of the program TPP in this case and uh, you get a whole little help file here and um, if we come down here to the bottom well first off it shows you right here basic keys uh, basically when you're giving a presentation using the arrow keys or other keys to move back and forth through the presentation um, but how do you create a presentation? Well, if we come down here, once you've installed it, uh, it should uh, have some example files in this folder. So let's highlight that. I'll hit Q to get out of that. And let's just list what's inside this folder. USR, share, doc, TPP examples. And you can see there's a number of examples. Uh, their extension is TPP, but that doesn't have to be. They're just plain text files. And uh, let's have a quick look at one. Um, I haven't looked at this one yet, so let's ha let's first let's um, cat it out. So we'll say cat, and of course the full extension to the file, and we'll hit enter here, and you can see this is what it looks like. Uh, this must be a comment here, and you can see there's any line that begins with a dash dash is a special tag. It means that line's gonna. Uh, do something special. This one's setting the author of the project. This one's setting the title of the project. This one's setting the date. And if you type today, it will automatically put in today's date every time you run the presentation. Um, dash dash with border. I have not used that option yet. Once again, I just discovered this program myself. Um, but we'll run it in a second and see what it looks like. This one, I'm guessing, is uh, s part of a comment. Uh, this, uh, this is the abstract, which is pretty cool. Well, we'll see. Um, and we have new page for new page with border. Once again, I haven't seen. So what we just need to do to run this is basically just TPP and the file that we want to run the presentation on. I'll hit enter here. And this is the front page of that. You can see it displays the author, the title, and today's date, March uh, 5th in this case, 2012. I won't be posting this for a couple of days, though. Uh, the next line in the source file is a comment and will not be displayed. And so that's the line that had the pound symbols after the dash dash. I'm going to hit uh, down arrow, and that brings us to the next page here. And um, I guess with border is the dotted lines all the way around us here. And uh, this is the next page, which also consists of several lines, blah, 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 blah. I'll hit down arrow again and just has some other random text they had in there. And you can hit Q to kill out the um, presentation. We can also look at another uh, file here. So I'm just going to double tab to autocomplete here and see what we have in this folder. And um, you can see we have colors because you can do presentations in colors. So let's do just the original color one. We'll hit enter there. And you can see it's done a red background with white text here. I hit down arrow, and it just gives you examples of different colors for the fonts here. Nothing too elaborate about that. But of course, once again, if you want to see how it's done, you can just cut out that file, and you can see that dash dash color white will change the font to white. Dash dash color green will change it to green, so forth and so on. You have dash dash BG color for background color, and that's where we got the red. Um, and there was a colors2 file, so let's run that. Oh, that's catting it out. Let's um, TPP it. We got, uh, you know, plain little gray, nothing special here. And um, it's almost like a monochrome. And I'll hit down arrow again, and oh, look, you can have text fly in and slide in and 
do what you want. I don't know why they call this one color because there wasn't really any color to it. It's kind of, like I said, monochrome. But uh, it was neat seeing those things slide in and out. So really anything you want to be able to do, um, you can look at these examples, find the one that does what you want to do, and just basically copy the text over. Let's have a look at another one here called Shell. Um, and I like this one because uh, you can make it look like it, you're typing out stuff on the screen. And basically you give a uh, begin shell uh, command and then any line beginning with a dollar sign, like a prompt, it will type it out like you're typing it. And of course you could pauses in the page. And so this is the one, we're going to take this example and basically copy the file over to a new file and start editing it to match what we want it to do. So I'll hit, um, oh, we're not done with, there we go. The presentation wasn't over, but I hit Q to escape out of that. So what I can do here is, like before, I can cat out that example file. And what I'll do here is I'll just highlight and copy that. So once it's highlighted, um, I'm going to use Vim, and I'm going to create a file called prez. Once again, you can put TPP at the end, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, that's just for your knowledge of what type of file it is. The program itself does not care as long as it's plain text. So I'm going to center click here to paste in what I highlighted. And I'm going to go in here and start modifying. I'm going to change the author to be Chris. And I'll change the title to my example. If I could spell right. Example tutorial today's date I'll change that to today we got a new page so we got our title page we got a new page this dash dash center will center some text so we'll just say um, this is centered and um, this is just some text here I'll type start tutorial and as I said, if it begins with a dollar sign, it will type out what you're saying as if you're typing on the screen. So I'm going to type, this is my tutorial on TPP. Now this next line, if it doesn't have a dollar sign, it will just bloop, pop onto the screen. And I'll just say, I hope you are enjoying it. And I'm just going to delete some stuff here actually let's go through dd and um so this little dash 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 three little dashes is kind of a break it stops until i hit next so it won't go to a next page but we'll continue this page so i hope you like all my videos And uh, we can just forward DD that. Oh, that was uh, more than I meant to delete. I meant to delete three lines, and I deleted more than that. But what I'll just do is I'll delete here, and we'll end the shell output for that page. I'll just, um, oops, I'm screwing all up. There we go. There we go. So, oh, that's begin shell output. I meant to end shell output. That's fine. I can type it myself. End shell output. New page. You can probably get rid of this line here. And I'm just going to delete all these lines here. And I will type in a new line. We'll do dash dash. Once again, dash dash means that this is a uh, command rather than text being displayed. Begin shell output. And I'm going to say dollar sign. Please help support this site over at, and I'll just say HTTP. FilmsbyChris.com And I'll put a little pause here, dash, dash, dash. Actually, no, I'm not going to put a pause there. And by...
stuff through my site over at h ttp colon forward slash forward slash films by chris dot com forward slash amazon and that's it I can save that and if I typed everything correctly I should be able to run the presentation like so my name title the date I hit down arrow and it starts this text is centered start tutorial and it typed out something and then plops some information I'm gonna hit down arrow again it's not going to jump to the next page but just continue this page because I put that line break in there now down arrow please help support this site over at filmsbychris.com and buy stuff uh, through my site over at filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon. So I thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, this might be great if you're at a, you know, you have, you're part of a lug group and maybe you're going to do a presentation. Instead of using um, LibreOffice or OpenOffice, you could do something right here using this application. So it's new to me and I found it very useful so far and I hope that you have some fun with it. And as always, I hope that you all have a great day.